hello collective welcome back to my platform thank you for watching as always remember to like comment subscribe share the content do whatever your spirit is guiding you to do as always i am sending you lots of love joy peace and happiness many many blessings to you and your family stay blessed and in the purest of white light always let's go ahead and find out what in the name of source is going on betrayal Mm, karma if you're new to my platform the channel source for me is karma <laughs> this is someone getting a taste of their own medicine this is what they intended for someone but instead they are the one going through it yes someone is in remorse someone is going through some type of hard dark night of the souls losing a lot of money because they didn't take something serious that had to do with a group of people doing foolishness behind the scenes okay so let's go ahead and get into the nitty-gritty of this situation it looks like there's a lot of karmic situations a lot of chaos going on as always with these karmics as it always is someone is coming out of this karmic group this toxicity to come and gas like you give you some type of false offer you don't have time for that because you have common sense watch your surroundings be alert of who is coming towards you. I don't care if they're new or old. You're not interested. You're not looking for love at the moment. My brother, my sister, reject them. Delete them. Okay, block them. Remove them from your contact. Delete them. Forget. Have mental funeral for people. Okay? All right, all jokes aside. Someone is going through some type of heavy karma. And this is because this person mistrusted. They trusted the wrong people, the wrong person. With this being a ten of swords, this is absolutely betrayal that was done by a group of people to a friend. Okay? So someone is learning a lesson the hard way. Someone has lost quite a lot of money. They don't know what to do. They want to leave this group, but they're stuck with the group. They've been indulging in a lot of karmic actions and things of that nature. Someone is learning a lesson absolutely the hard way. There may have been like a higher fence than a false higher fence. Let's clarify that. A false higher fence that misled this person into believing that they were giving this person a genuine advice, leading them on the right path, but only for them to find out that this person was leading them in the wrong direction. It has led to this person losing quite a lot of money, losing relationships. They may have lost some type of really important relationship in their life that could have ended up if they would have chosen their relationship or stayed loyal to their relationship, they would have had some type of business success with that person. But this person did not take their relationship seriously. They juggled you or whoever this message resonates with. So they have lost quite a lot. Now they don't know what to do. There's a new plan, honey, for someone to come in and guess lights you. Okay, give you a false love offer. This could be in friendship, in love, whatever it is. You're not interested, as I said. So whatever these people are planning, it is absolutely not going to work. There are some illegal activities going on here. Blackmailing, invasion of privacy. Okay, honey, I'm telling you someone got advice from the wrong person. Someone did not go within to see things from the higher, uh, high, from a higher perspective. Someone was guided by source to go within and see things from a different perspective than what this toxic group was leading them to do. They did not listen. They still chose to follow this toxic karmic group. Now these people are fighting amongst themselves. This person does not know. Do I go towards this person? Do I just stay behind? Is it a good idea to go in and gaslight them to make them believe that I'm in love with them so that they don't end up, you know, uh, testifying against me? And there's some type of court case that's coming up. Absolutely, these people are going to be facing a lot of issues. And they're already going through issues, but I don't think they expected the truth to come out. These people committed some type of crime behind the scenes that has to do with finances and things like that. The other night I had a dream where there was something going on with a child. And if you're new to my channel, I don't really like touching on children because it's a sensitive topic for me. Um, but people did something to a child and then tried to frame someone else or someone or a group of people did something to a child just to hurt a mother, okay? To get her out of balance, to get some type of emotional reaction out of her. It's like they wanted her to 
to mourn unnecessarily so they try to do this something to her child okay but it's this is not going to be happening but there is something illegal that went on behind the scenes that a group of people are fighting about they're trying to get away run away from their consequences but they will not they will be facing their consequences people cannot run these people there's someone in here that is not even someone there are people in here that are no longer accepting bribery from someone okay but someone did not listen someone there was a path that they were supposed to take it's that spirit created a new path for this person to choose wisdom to choose peace to choose a new life it's like they it's like this person had already failed in life they were on their last leg with the universe is what i'm saying and spirit literally gave them an option like hey uh, uh, cut your ties with these people. Go this direction. They looked at the direction spirit was guiding them and they said, well, that's too hard to do. That's uncomfortable. I don't want to do that. And this is because this person is toxic. Someone is very much accustomed to doing toxic things. It's like embedded into them. And spirit was challenging them to change, to have some type of fresh growth so that they could heal. And someone said, uh-uh, I like being toxic. Let me be toxic. So Spirit said, okay, as you wish. Your wish is our command. And now they're going through this. Honey, let's get into this. This is juicy. <laughs> I feel like since like I found my, my, my thing in life, the drama queen within me has come out. But I'm not trying to hide it. So it's okay. We will embrace it. Anyways, let's get on with this drama. This focus, focus. And these people are having a hard time. Absolutely. Let's see what's going on here. Yeah, someone lost their chance with you. They were supposed to go in to see the truth about a relationship with you. But they let their narcissism, their ego get in the way of this. Um, someone was supposed to go within and see that they had a soul contract with you. This is something they did not know that they had with you. Okay, someone was supposed to have success with you in business, in life. You two were supposed to build a new empire that was going to be long lasting, like a legacy to pass down to the next generation. But someone is so stuck on toxicity. They are so toxic and karmic that they look at people that are huge as the problem. They laugh at healed people. They laugh at spiritual people. Like people for me, for example, people like myself, this type of person, they laugh at us. They say, oh my gosh, can you, can you believe the things that come out of her mouth? She is so stupid. She is so retarded. She is this, she is that. She's an airhead. And then, you know, these people don't realize that we're helping you. We're predicting your life. We're trying to guide you on the right path so you don't end up in these types of situation. But when we talk and we give them wisdom, instead of heeding the wisdom, heeding to the words that are coming out of our mouths, they laugh. I don't know what it is with karmics. They're always laughing. Even when they are doing something stupid that does not make sense, they're always laughing. I don't know if it's a coping mechanism or this is how they feel good or something. They get like, get like a thrill out of it. But these people are always laughing at stupidity until it bites them in the behind, comes back to hit them in the face, and then they're not laughing anymore. Like this masculine that's not laughing anymore, walking around with a mask and things like that, honey. Let's leave him to have his day, his week, his month, his year of hard knock life, okay? This contract is absolutely over because this person is too entitled. They did not appreciate you. You may have had some type of relationship with this person and they took it for granted. Some of you were in relationships with these people one year, two years, five years, eight years, 10 years, 15 years, however long you were with this person. You stayed with them as long as you could, trying to give them time to heal. For some of you, you did not date this person. You may have met them briefly and you all, you two hit it off or something like that. Um, and you had extended some type of genuine friendship to them and they neglected that too because they had a lot of karmics in their ears, whether they, these were friends, these were families, frenemies, whoever. You have people in their ear speaking negatively of you to them. So now it is too late. This contract is absolutely over. They were hoping they could come in, gaslight you, so you could reignite this friendship with them, but it's not happening. Nothing happens the same twice. 
okay and this is just how things are set up in the world nothing happens to sin twice you don't meet a genuine person and you betray them and then you go partner up with karmics and then think you can come back because things didn't work out with the karmics now you can start back over with the genuine person it does not work that way while they may forgive you things will never be the same so you might as well just cut your loss and move on no pun intended no hard feelings okay and just move on with your life yeah this person is a narcissist they still think they can come in and gaslight you they still think they can come in and shorthand you give you some type of false love offer to misguide you someone may want to come in and pretend to be you and things like that this person is absolutely not healed this is someone part of this group okay they want to make the offer that they're giving you look promising it is absolutely not promising as i said this is a false love offer this is not even someone that gives genuinely he's showing up here in a night of pentacles energy which absolutely means that this person before they give it may be ten thousand years before they give to you but who oh lord it's so much coming out. The energy this person is showing up in is just not promising. Someone wants to now have success with you after a heavy betrayal. It's not happening. You have a higher level soulmate that's coming in. This person is absolutely a thief. They are exposed. They were in collaboration with a group of people, possibly a couple. He or she could be one of the members of this couple that were stealing from you or wanted to steal from you steal an opportunity from you steal a business from you they were trying to steal something from you but were unsuccessful okay someone does want to come in to give you a false love offer that keeps coming up in my head but it's a sneak attack they're planning to steal from you. There could be some type of court case going on where this person think if they come in, gas like you into thinking that they are the one for you. They've changed. They've had a change of mind. They see things clearly now that you're going to go and vouch for them in court. And this whole case is going to be thrown out or there's their uh, sentencing won't be as heavy, honey. Uh, no, you can come to me after the sentencing. Okay. After the court case, if you still want to talk, okay, then I'll know how sincere you are. Okay, that's how I see that, Starcy. Absolutely do not let anyone gaslight you into getting, getting into any relationship. I keep hearing that someone in here thinks that you have a soft spot for them. I hope you don't. You do not have a soft spot for anyone. Starcy, what, what are they talking about? What are they talking about? I keep hearing some, and this is a masculine that's saying this. She has a soft spot for me. I can do this. No, you cannot. Stay where you are. You're wasting your time. You're not as wise as you should be. You see that uh, uh, hermit out here in the reverse? Someone wants to take some type of rash action from this group. I'm telling you to come towards you just to steal from you. They're not coming in to advocate for you. They are exposed. So the thing, their last chance of survival or beating this situation, uh, calming the waters or whatever it is, is by coming in quickly to speak with you, to present you with some type of offer. It's a false offer. You're going to be waiting forever for this person to change or uh, for you to reap any type of bounty with this person. This is a thief at the court. This is not someone genuine. Absolutely not. This is someone rash, impulsive, things like that. They seem brave, but because they're part of this group, this is someone impulsive. They do not have any genuine intentions for you. Someone lost. Someone went up against you and lost. A whole group of people went up against someone and lost. And they think that this is their last tactic to use so that they can win. They're not going to. All of these people are going to be experiencing the endings that they deserve okay and this is a group plan to send this person in towards you this is not just him thinking of this someone has lost a lot of money you see this car flying out of here i'm telling you <laughs> i'm telling you someone is coming in to gaslight you just to leave you out in the cold they're coming to steal from you someone wants you like emotionally and mentally imbalanced does he love me does he not love me Oh, I don't know what to do. I'm so, uh, 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 no, honey. The time for that type of stuff is gone. This is stuff we do in our teenage years, maybe our 20s. 
Not at this age in the 30s, 40s, 50s, honey. No, we are not uncertain. We know exactly who you are. We don't want nothing to do with you. You stay where you are. You made your plan. You chose your side. You picked a side, now stick to it. Pick a side, pick a side, pick a side, and stick to it. Absolutely, it is a plan. I'm telling you, this is the plan for someone to come in and manipulate you. Play with your mind, play with your heart, play with you. Do not let them. It's not going to succeed. Someone is going through some type of recovery. Someone may not be able to go through a recovery. They may not be able to recover from something they are experiencing. Someone is going through a lot of loss. Losing a home, job, car, marriage, relationships. Someone is going through a lot. And it's because they came for you. This is why this ten of, pen, this ten of swords is out here. These are all the things this person is losing. Relationships, money, finances, home. Someone is about to lose a business because they came for you. Some, someone is waiting for their ship to sail, but the ship will not be sailing there. You took a wrong turn. Okay? Wrong turn. I don't know if you're able to make a reverse at this point, but you got, you're going to have to talk to the most high. I'm telling you, someone is trapped. It is over. Someone is coming in your life just to gaslight you so they can trap you in your head, play mental games with you. Someone does not have genuine uh, uh, emotions for you. And that's quite okay. That's not the person you're meant to be with. This is someone karmic, unwilling to heal, unwilling to do the things they need to do to be the better version of themselves. So this is their plan to come in and trap you in an unhealthy relationship, marriage, friendship, where they're gaslighting you. One day they want to talk to you and then they go ghost for three months and then all of a sudden, hi, friend. Uh-uh. We don't have time for this. Someone is also facing legal issues. This is why they want to come in. Someone was setting you up for something and it didn't go according to plan. Now they're facing legal issues and they think you can save them. You are not... Captain, see if a hole. I'm sorry for my language. I don't use French very often, but that's how spirit wanted me to say it. You are not Captain, see if a hole. I don't care if you're a man or a woman. If there are a man or a woman, that is not your job. Let them figure it out. They made their bed. Let them lay in that bed comfortably, just like they were comfortable when they were betraying you. Keep the same energy. Life is a projection of the energy you put out. So if you put this energy out for someone, you should be absolutely a-okay with it coming back to you. Come on now. Am I lying? No. This is what you put out. So this is what you were telling the universe. I want this same energy in return. Ten times full. Because you're telling the universe, I can handle it. Hit me. Now they're hitting you. Okay. You say, hit me with your best shot. Hey, why don't you hit me with your bet shot? And the universe said, oh, okay, here you go. Boom. <laughs> and now it's man down. Rum pa pum pum. Rum pa pum pum. Man down. It's a man down and he cannot get up. Help, I'm falling and I can't get up. That's what that is. Let's see. <laughs> Someone has something to say. A group of people has something to say. Do not be surprised when people are now reaching out to you because they have something to say to you that they should have said eons ago when they were all going up against you to take you down for absolutely no reason. You were framed for something you had absolutely nothing to do with. Now these people are caught up in their lives, their schemes, whatever it is they were up to. Now they have something to say. Say what you need to say, but it won't be to me or to our star seas. Say it to the court. Say it to the judge. Say it to the lawyer. I beg. Okay? Honey, these people are meeting up to come up with a plan. They've been meeting up so much. They are tired. They don't tire out. They're exhausted. Okay, they're coming up with a plan to give you some type of false opportunity. They want to make it look glorious. Glorious. But it's not. It is a trap. These people are, <laughs> these are rascals at the court. Rugrats, 
rascals, menace to society, these are these people. They don't have any genuine intent for you, okay? You are going to have an opportunity that will actually be genuine with a different person or organization. It will not be this organization. These people are malicious. They are pissed off that everything they've tried to put you through is not working. They've been recruiting new people, people they don't even know from Adam to come up against you. This is what is going on. Let's say you've been working for a company for a while and you notice that they have some dark things going on behind the scenes because spirit allows you to incarnate with your eyes wide open. So you see things that other people do not see. These people realize that you see them for who they are and now they want to destroy you. They're like, hey, hold on. We've been doing this for 40 years. No one has ever called on to us. You know a little bit too much, so we need to take you out. Or, you know, in some of you all situation, they decide they want to recruit you into their nonsense, but that's not what you're made for. Source did not create you to be part of a cult or a coven. You immediately reject. Some of you rejected these people without even knowing that you were rejecting them. So they get offended. So now they make it their life missions to take you down. Okay, I beg, honey. It, uh -huh. These karmics, they're always karmicking. Anyways, now they make it their mission to take you down. Every tactic they're pulling out of the bag is not working. Mind you, they've done these tactics before on other people and it has worked. This is how they've been recruiting people into their nonsense. But it's not working on you. So now they take it personal. It's a personal problem now. Personally. Personal, personally, hey, it's now a personal problem, okay? So they are going all out, honey. They are wearing your behind out, okay? <laughs> one after the other, one after the other, one joke, one a trick after the other, one attack after the other, people taking turns, people coming in groups after one person. But the most high is just sitting back and watching. He said, mm-hmm. Okay, well, let's see how long you guys can keep this up and they keep going. Someone keeps spending money, money, and money, and money to take you out. <laughs> Most High say, I'm going to let you run out of money and then I'm going to hit you where it hurts. So this person is out of money. This is who has been paying people behind the scenes or this is someone that has been paying people behind the scenes. Honey, it's not looking good for these people. It is not looking good for these people. It's like everything they were planning for you is happening to them one after the other. These people thought your life was over. They thought they were God. They were in charge. These are people that are well connected. Maybe even connected to the government for some of you. Very well connected. And they thought they were going to destroy you. So they've been collaborating behind the scenes. Now when they meet, it's like... I'm so sick of her. She won't shut the heck up. I'm so sick of him. He keeps showing up to work every day. Why does he keep showing up to work every day? With throwing spell works and he's still showing up. What is he doing here? He should be dead by now. Honey, this is what's going on behind the scenes. They are pissed off. These people thought they were going to receive something that belonged to you, but they will not. They're receiving something less or nothing at all. Spirits that sit your behind down over there, figure out why it is you are in the predicament that you are in, and then come talk to me so we can back, get back on the right track to ascension. But most of these people will not be ascending this lifestyle, lifetime. They've done too much, too much, too much, like Medea said, too much. I am for the Lord. I am for the Lord. These are people that pretend to be Christians. Don't have a lick of connection to source. But they are for the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. They are for the Lord. But they look at, look at us spiritualists and say, oh, those, those naive people. Can you believe the things that come out of their mouth? They're so dumb, airheads. They laugh at us. But then they don't, they don't, they can't figure out why they can't unalive us. They can't end us. Maybe you shall reconsider your friendships and alliances. 
Because the God you are serving, I don't know what God you are serving. It cannot be the Jesus Christ that I know. Because he's not effing with you. Maybe you should try to, you know, try the God that we serve. The source of all that is and will ever be. But honey, this collaboration is over. It is absolutely over. These people have been attacking and attacking and attacking. Listen, you're about to be meeting someone. You're receiving some type of letter that's going to be bringing your abundance to your awareness. Okay, excuse me. Let me straighten out my card. You've been managing quite a lot, juggling quite a lot. People see you, you look like you have it together, but you're dealing with a lot behind the scenes. People see you in this energy. They see you in the privileged lady energy, privileged masculine energy, okay? You are positive. This is what the universe wants you to do. Stay in positivity, stay grounded, get out into nature, but you have abundance that is attached to your name. Some of you that you cannot even imagine. Imagine. Imagine me being free. Trusting you totally. Finally, I can. Honey, this is you. Abundance is your portion. These people have been conspiring behind the scenes to steal this from you. Someone forged a letter. Someone forced your signature. There's a lot of lies going on. False police reports, setups, people trying to set you up for a crime you had nothing to do with for some of you. People lying on you. Smear campaign. It's been a whole lot and a whole lot going on. Who is that creator that says it's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on? Is that Enzo or something like that? I love that uh, intro of his. It's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on, okay, behind the scenes. And you are just going on about your pretty little life. It may not be perfect, but you know Source is with you. You are protected. You are guided. And these people are living in chaos, even though they are the one once putting in effort to destroy you. But you remain the Empress, my darling. You remain bountiful. You remain prosperous. You are blessed. You are the true empress. Honey, you're about to be living that bougie, bougie life. Beverly Hills. I don't know. I've never been into like the fancy stuff. I'm like a country girl at heart. When I was in, when I was born in Africa, I was born in like the rural part of Africa. So I'm used to like the jungles and stuff like that. So I'm into like country living. Like living somewhere where there's a lot of trees and land and I can run wild, roll in the grass. I don't care how old I am. Plant my little garden, fruit trees and things like that. That's the kind of life I'm into. But the whole, you know, living in Beverly Hills, yeah, it's never been my thing. It just, I don't find it fascinating. It's, it looks like a good life, but it just has like this superficial aspect to it. And I'm very nature oriented. I love being out in nature, you know, touching trees and things like that, seeing wild animals and things like that. But the whole, you know, going up the elevator and I'm like, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. That's cute and all, but I, I need mother nature. I need to be able to touch mother nature when I want to. I need to feel her, things like that. I need to feel the planet, okay? But you're about to be living in abundance. This is how you are being seen as an empress. You are the true empress. There is someone outside of this group that you will be connecting with that will be giving you a promising offer. Whoever is in this group that betray you, they are where they're supposed to be. I'm telling you, king of cups, this could just be the energy this person is showing up in. But you have someone that's coming towards you that's going to give you a genuine offer. This person thinks about you quite a lot. You may not even be aware of this person, never met them before, but they are aware of you in some way, shape, or form. You two could be connecting in the spirit realm, things like that. And now it is going to be manifested in the physical. Honey, I'm loving this for you. This King of Cups, I don't know if this is who you are meant to be with. Maybe this is who's going through the betrayal, learning a hard lesson. This could be someone that had, that maybe stood by and watched people do things to you 
and now maybe they want to reconnect with you to have some type of genuine love offer with you honey we don't know um but spirit will review all in time but baby these people are having a hard day hard week hard month hard year and it's not getting any better it will not get any better because this is how much these people were coming after you for a long time. They wanted you out of here. These people are trying to send you back to your maker. So do not feel sorry for anyone. These people don't care. This, this bribery I keep hearing about, this is like you work for a company and something happens where they're all coming after you. They're trying to set you up for something, but you leave or something happens where you're no longer amongst these people. You end up maybe getting a job at another company. They reach out to that company trying to get you fired. Maybe the owner of that company refuses to get you fired and they keep pushing the person to fire you, pushing him, and then they start offering him money. Maybe he won't take the money or she won't take the money, um, but they keep forcing it and then it ends up legal. Somehow it ends up legal. Maybe someone in this group ends up snitching and i'm saying it that way because i don't want to endanger anyone but i mean the law is already involved so there's not really much that i can say that is not going to expose what's going on it's already out in the open the law is involved these people have been bribing people behind the scenes if you live like in a house that you're renting even an apartment you're renting they've contacted your landlord possibly left huge left a huge check for this person so that they can come and harass you things like that like these people have been going above and beyond to end you but you have good karma coming your way okay you have good karma coming your way. Things are being balanced. I'm telling you, I just said karma, good karma. Things are going your way. And these people are wondering how in the world are things still going in their favor? Who is this person? Someone keeps asking. Who the heck is this? Who the heck is your baby mama? Oh, somebody's baby daddy is involved in here. Oh, <laughs> the juiciness. <laughs> I'm telling you. The drama queen within me had just come out since I started doing tarot. Usually, I'm nonchalant, laid back, don't really care what you have going on. But honey, the juiciness and the drama queen have connected. <laughs> Things are moving in your favor. You are absolutely going to get a hold of what belongs to you. Source is bringing balance into this situation. Someone could be traveling towards you. You could end up having to travel somewhere to connect with your uh, new either business partner or romantic interest. But there is an opportunity that is coming towards you that will bring balance into your life. And everything these enemies are trying to steal from you is absolutely going to be replenished and restored 10 times full. Then I listen, look at what's on the bottom. Okay. We're not here to BS. Absolutely what's meant for you will be given to you by source. Yes. New life. Absolutely new life. Your past is over. You are starting a new life. These people. Honey, can you see here? Can you see this? Fighting, drastic action, death. I'm going to leave that there for them. If they are watching us, my darlings, this is what's ahead of you endings some of you could literally be passing away some of you are going to jail some of you are becoming unemployed losing your marriages god forbid something with a child in here i'm not even touching on that there is some this whole oh, honey the possibilities of what's coming for you are are limitless source is not playing with you or someone is taking a spiritual bath they're trying to cleanse the negative energy honey no, I don't know who told you to take that cleansing bath, but you can take it a thousand times. Your karma is still coming for you. It is still due. You put that energy out there. It has to come back. It cannot just linger in the air. Nah, that is like abandoning your child. You don't just leave your child hanging in the air. It will come back. Recycle. <laughs> Recycle. <laughs> No, it's coming right back. You can take all the cleansing baths you want there. It is still coming back. Sorry to break your heart. 
okay it is still coming back these two people that are meant to be will be oh the emperor is out here lord jesus and he has a thing for you queen of cups hey <laughs> I also just heard there's an emperor and a queen of queen of cups in here that have been working together for a long time, causing manipulations, mental magic, conflict behind the scenes, and they are exposed. But for you, my darling, you and this emperor, this person loves you. This person is in love with you. Okay, they want to celebrate with you. Someone wants to have victory with you. Okay. Someone knows that you are intuitively gifted. Someone sees you as their, someone sees you as loyal is what I'm hearing. Someone sees you as loyal. They find you to be a little mysterious as well. They say, like, hold on, she's very sweet, but there's something about her I just cannot get my finger on. There's something about him I just cannot get my finger on. What is it? What is it? So they find you to be very mysterious. But they find you to be very loving and compassionate, and very beautiful and things like that. They watch you, but you don't know they're watching you. Even if this person is around you, you wouldn't know that they are watching you. This person is going through some type of heartbreak. They may have gone through some type of betrayal by someone they were with. Everyone here is going through an ending. Everyone is going through an ending, including you. But your ending is a beautiful one. Okay, you are going from like to prosperity to abundance from a, a single life to maybe even marriage, commitment. Okay, someone's mother is involved in here and she's learning a hard lesson. Honey, we're not even going to touch on you. Your energy is a little bit too much. She wants forgiveness is what I'm hearing, honey. Forgive yourself. Forgive yourself. Okay. Forgive yourself. We're not thinking about you. We don't know you. You probably you probably never met this woman before, but she's been doing a whole lot behind the scenes to block you. So let us remind her to forgive herself. We're not worried about her. My darling, don't worry about people like this. They are unhealed. This person thought you are not good enough for their son is what I'm hearing. She thought her son was too good for you. This is some other figure in this scenario for someone. She thought her son was too good for you, but now she's realizing that you are too good for her son. He doesn't deserve to have you. Something like that. Honey, you need help. We're just going to leave her there. Listen, forward movement. You and this emperor are about to be on a whole nother level. This person is doing something behind the scenes to ensure victory for the both of you. Someone knows that you have endured quite a lot. And they're hoping that you will stay calm when they tell you something that they have to tell you. So this person may have participated in this shenanigans in the past. And now they want to illuminate the truth to you. There is a whole crime going on here. But someone was guided to see things from a higher perspective to distance, distance himself from these people. And now he's seeing you as the queen of cups that you are. You met this person and they saw you as a queen of cups. It's like they knew instantly when they saw you who you were. But then this karmic group started approaching him, doing something, and they changed his view of you. But now he's seeing you like he saw you before. He just knows that there's something about you he cannot get his hands on. He sees you as very tough. He sees you as the queen of cups going through a really hard time. But he knows that there's victory coming ahead of you. He knows you have abundance. He's going to communicate with you. And he's hoping that you will understand. He's helping you secure something. But he may not be telling you. Okay? Queen of Pentacles, I'm telling you. And your energy keeps getting better and better and better. You are someone loyal. You are an empress, queen of pentacles. You are a mother, wife, a, 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 a businesswoman, a hardworking, down-to-earth, a counselor. You are everything in one. And you are a queen of cups as well. These people don't know what they can. Someone picked a fight with the wrong queen of cups. I keep hearing that. 
Someone picked a fight with the wrong queen of cups. And they are eating a humble pie in the worst way possible. Someone saw you. They said, oh, she's into love and light. I'm going to humble her. We're going to wipe that smile off her face. If you're a guy, oh, he's into love and lights. We're going to wipe that smile off his face. And then they took a smack at you. And you said, okay, don't do that again. They did it again. I'm telling you, don't do it again. And they started, they got comfortable. They thought because you didn't react that you didn't know what they were doing. But you knew. And you started keeping your distance from people. And they did it so often, you got to a point and said, you know what? I'm going to call my ancestors on your behind. And someone said, F you and your ancestors. So they kept doing it until your ancestors stepped in. Oh, we are here. And they are playing Russian roulette with these people. These people didn't know how to play Russian roulette. They thought they knew how to play Russian roulette. But the Russian roulette that is being played right now, they cannot keep up. It said, any, mini, money, mo. Boop. Any, boop. Money, mo. Catch up. Boop. I wasn't ready. I know. That's the point of the game. That is what your ancestors are saying. Someone picked a fight with the wrong queen of cups. Some queen of cups you come across, they are the way they are for a reason. And this is because they know what's backing them up. You see them alone. Like the star, star seeds, crystal children, indigo children. You see them, they're oftentimes alone. And they are alone for a reason. But idiots like these that don't know they're behind from their mouth think they can destroy everybody. And this is because they have money and they come in a group. So they assume that they automatically win. And then they F around and find out what's backing you. And they're like, oh my gosh, I effed up really bad. I should have left this person alone when they told me to leave them alone. But it's too late. Karma. Okay. Back to our reading. Lord have mercy. Yo, there's a queen of pentacles in here. Having a hard time. Advised to remove herself from the situation, going through heartbreak. Someone is leaving this woman, this queen of pentacles, someone is leaving her. She is losing a relationship. This is not like this is not like you, the genuine person. This queen of pentacles is money focused. Money focused. And she is being left out in the cold because she did something to a masculine energy, possibly stole from him, tried to set him up. This woman did something and someone is getting away from her as far away as possible. Someone has been pretending. It's like someone thought, oh, if I just play nice and pretend to be over it or to just pre if I just pretend like I'm okay and I'm in love with him and, you know, this and that, like, he will believe it and we will go past this. Like, he's not going to leave me. <laughs> Meanwhile, this person already saw right through you. Someone went and got a reading on a woman. Someone went and got a reading on a feminine energy and she didn't know that this man knew what she was doing the whole time and he's still leaving you. Someone has been securing their bag through a masculine energy in here. And it's over. O-V-E-R. Over. Pronto. Immediately. It is over. I'm telling you. It's over. <laughs> it is over with these two. They could have been married. They could have been together for a long time. This is some type of relationship. It is over. Someone is, someone is done. That whole traditional way of thinking, we've been together for 15 years. 
So we might as well just stay together. Oh, we got to keep the family unit together. We got to do this. But you're miserable as heck with this person. You don't even sleep in the same bed. But when you're out in public, you put on a facade to pretend like you're happy with this person. But you know behind closed doors you cannot stand this person. Why would you want to stay in a relationship like that? You're not keeping a family unit together. You're teaching your children how to settle for toxicity. How to settle for less than what they deserve. Honey, all my exes can tell you I am quick to pack my bags. I don't care. I am going to be happy. Whether it's by myself or by myself, I'm going to be happy. Why settle for that? There's also an institution here that is over. These people are losing money. Like, this institution is over. You remember I said something about someone got bad advice from a higher fan that's not really a higher fan, and then the higher fan comes out in the reverse? That is just solidifying what I said. Someone was listening to the wrong person, someone unhinged, someone that didn't know what they were talking about. And led them astray someone here had a problem with you because you are non-traditional you are a spiritualist you talk about having a connection with source you're into your crystals you're minding your business you're in la la land because you connect with source in la la land you're you're talking about your ancestors paying homage to your ancestors making you know altars to your ancestors with beautiful crystals and things like that and someone hates you for that because you're always positive you're the queen of positivity you're the king of positivity they're the queen or king of darkness and your light agitates their darkness so they want to put your light out someone has a problem with you just being you you're not bothering this person. You're not even in this person's space. You don't talk to this person. You don't talk about this person, but they have a problem with you. Make it make sense. Make it make sense, but it won't. Yeah, I told you this institution's losing money. Pissed off because you're still moving forward after everything they've done. They've been bribing people behind the scenes to block your forward movement. But as you can see, your pathway is clear. You're going through a death to start a new beginning. Absolutely. These people have been paying people behind the scenes. They want to come in and... Uh, 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 what is that pocket change you or something? Give you less than what you should be having? They're hoping that this is going to help you step into your calling or, you know, kind of get you to move on, leave their city, leave their town, leave their institution, whatever it is. The Most High will decide what to rightfully do to you and you will receive every bit of it. But your pathway is clear. You will be receiving some type of financial assistance to bring balance into this situation because you lost quite a lot due to the reckless actions these people took behind the scenes to interfere with your life, even though you did nothing to them. People were trying to set you up for something that you had nothing to do with. Let me reiterate that. And you are about to be on the start, the worst stage for some of you. Public, bold and beautiful, bold and handsome. These people will have to hear your voice day and night, see your face this and not day and night. Depending on what you are doing for a living, you're about to be very influential. Your pathway is clear. You have a lot of paths available for you. If they if they interfere with one, the universe just opens another one, a better one, a bigger and better one. They say, oh, thank you. We actually wanted her to have that. Oh, thank you. We didn't know that this was, you know, we didn't know that you were this determined to take this person down. Don't you know every time you close one door, we're just going to open another one. You close one door, we'll open two more. You close two, we'll open five more for this person. So their possibilities are limitless. Like just keep helping her, helping him ascend thank you we appreciate this you are doing very well on your end of the contract they don't know that they think that they are stopping you <laughs> you are the truth you're authentic 
The two of wands for me has to do with someone being seen as the truth. Someone having an open mind, a broad mindset, someone that's business minded, someone that's very successful, has a lot of potential in life, open to the horizon, open to endless possibilities, someone that's limitless. This is what the two of wands represents for me. And this is exactly what you have and who you are. And then you add the sun to that. Oh my gosh, honey. That's the universe telling you yes, 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 and yes. Yes, 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 more yes. Yes, 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 infinity. Yes, 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 forever. That's the universe supporting you. And you're about to be uh, uh, supported by the public as well. People are, these people are about to be exposed. Someone is going to be on the news. A few people may be on the news. This organization is going to be exposed. Exposed. They've been doing this for a long time and they've gotten comfortable with it. Very much comfortable with it. They've gotten so comfortable that they feel entitled to doing it. Is that, like, oh, who do you think you are? Who do you think you are? We can do what we want to do. We're connected to the White House. We're connected to Fox News. <laughs> We're connected to the senator. We can do what we want. Lies, you're crying. Mourning, regrets, nightmares. That's what you are. People let the superficial things get them in a mindset that's absolutely dangerous. It does not matter how much money you have in your pocket, in your bank account. If the universe says no, it is a no, and you have to respect that decision. But these people, mm, people let money get to their head. This is how a lot of these people have been being bribed behind the scenes. Because you come to work one day, someone has left, someone um, has left a, a ten thousand dollars check on your desk, and they tell you go do this to this person, go harass this person. Go bang on someone's door. Go bang on someone's car. Go break into someone's car and leave a message so they can know that you're watching them. They're no, they're 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 never uh, uh they never have privacy. And they go and do it. They've never seen a check for ten thousand dollars at once yet. Not realizing you're selling yourself. You're selling your soul. You're binding yourself to a contract. Now when this person comes and say, go do this, and you say, oh, no, I don't want to do that. Excuse me, remember, you did it the last time. I gave you $10,000, and you did it, so you're going to do it again. If you don't do it, I'm going to expose you. So now you have to keep doing this stupid stuff behind the scenes. A 56-year-old out here playing mind games at your old age. You should be chilling, relaxing living your best life, but you're out here taunting someone younger than you, a 87 year old, 70 year old, 60 years old, all of them in this nonsense, childlike behaviors, childlike mindset. Some of them, they're stalking you online. You have family members that are involved in this nonsense. It's like, if being in your seventies is not being a grown up, then I don't know what the heck is a grown up because you're supposed to mature with age. And if you can get to this stage of life in your 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, your 30s, and you're, you don't know, you don't have enough common sense not to involve yourself into stuff like this because of money, I don't know what to tell you. There's no hope for you. I don't care who you are. I don't care how much money I come to work. If you put a million dollars in my bank account, first of all, I'm broke as heck. If I woke up tomorrow and I had a million dollars in my bank account and you told me I had to go harass someone to keep that million dollars, I don't want your million dollars because that's blood money. That's dirty money. I would rather be poor and at peace than to have a million dollars in my bank and be living in misery, regrets. That is not a fulfilling life having money in your bank account, but you don't even, you can't even spend it comfortably. Every time you spend a dollar of it, you are you are feeling remorse or something. And some of them have been doing this for so long, they don't even feel remorse, remorseful about it because they're so comfortable. And if you get that comfortable doing stuff like that, it's a problem. You need help, you need healing. 
Go get help. I don't know what to tell you. You need to find better friends. Don't let money define your worth. It's just paper. When you leave this realm, you will not be taking any of it with you. Okay? You see, all of our Egyptian ancestors, they used to have people bury them with gold and all of this. They don't have none of that in the afterlife because it's not necessary in the afterlife. But when you don't stand for nothing, that's why they say you will fall for anything. I don't care. $500,000, $50, $2,000,000, $1,000,000, $1 I don't want no parts of it. If it's not something that came ethically to me, I don't want it. I do not want it. That means that you don't have any boundaries if you would just do anything for money. Setting someone up. For something that have nothing to do. Yes, honey, I'm speaking the truth. I am speaking the absolute truth. And someone knows that. Someone's heart and head has been touched. They are changing. Someone in this group is going through a change. Unintentionally. Someone has been listening, watching, something keeping track of you. And the way you live has encouraged this person to change. And that's beautiful. Whether they ever tell you that they did, that it did, or you did, it does not matter. The fact of the matter is that you made a change in someone's life. Having credit for it does not matter. It's irrelevant. You've done your part. You've changed someone's life. You are the queen of swords. You're telling the truth. You will listen to what people have to say, but you're not with the BS. Cut, cut them out. Don't let people BS you around. You are a true speaker. Okay? You are a true speaker. And someone knows that. People know that. And this is why they are fighting amongst themselves. Because they know they came after someone who's a queen of cups. Someone who's genuine. Someone who tells the truth. Does the right thing. These people are telling themselves. If we will have partnered up with this person. She will probably. She will or he will probably. Probably be looking out for us. Sharing with us. Someone know, people know that they can come to you for advice and you're going to tell them the right thing. You're going to look out for them without any ulterior motives. No expectations in return. But the people they have around them won't do anything for them without asking for something in return or without expecting something in return. They say, oh, well, I gave you a dollar. When are you going to do something for me? Why did you give me a dollar if you're just expecting something in return? Were you lending me the dollar? Because if you are not lending me the dollar, there's no need for you to be mentioning what you did for me. Absolutely not. You are the queen of swords. You pull your, you have your swords pulled out as you should. You're going to be getting some type of offer from an organization. And it is going to propel you into your future. Because they know you are you are either skilled, you tell the truth, you know what you're doing, or you can be guided to even improve what you're doing. But there's an organization or someone that wants to work with you because they know your work ethics. The Queen of Swords is someone that is very much organized, strong work ethics, very focused, direct, straight to the point. They know this about you and they want to work with you. They want to extend an offer to you and these people have been working to prevent you from receiving offers from other people from organizations from individuals working overtime and spirit is putting an end to every bit of it let's see what's going on here yeah absolutely honey <laughs> yep normal mental conflict there's a <laughs> lord lord jesus you spoke some type of truth about a high priestess in the reverse that was causing a conflict in the past, but she cannot anymore. There's clarity in the situation. She's being seen for who she is, someone deceitful. 
someone who's a liar, being paid under the table to lie, give false reading, someone that does not know what she's doing or she misuses her gifts, which she does not have anymore because spirit has stripped her of those abilities because she was misusing those abilities. Don't you know that when spirit, when we are uh, granted these access to have these gifts and things, when you abuse them, they are absolutely taken away because you are not worthy anymore to have them. So someone has lost their spiritual abilities, gifts, because they were abusing them. Lying, money focused, hungry for money. This woman had enough money, but she's very greedy. She's been lying a lot. And then it's not accidental that the moon is out here right above her. The moon has to do with secrecy and things like that. And the high priestess in reverse has to do with someone that's deceitful. Someone that hides a lot of secrets and things like that. So this is absolutely a dark worker. She's been lying a lot behind the scenes, accepting bribery to mix, to, to cause conflict amongst people someone went to this woman to get a reading and she lied to them about you about a situation and now there's clarity in the situation and she's being seen for exactly who she is her game is over she won't be able to practice anymore her business is over and you absolutely said something about this woman that someone found out to be true and they have clarity about the situation about her who she is, what she's been doing for years, and her business is over, game is over for her. This is not someone intuitive. This is not someone with a connection to source that's positive. Source does not do. This is someone disconnected from source. It's what I just heard. Absolutely disconnected from source, from the universe. Just pure darkness and maliciousness. This woman did not start like this. This is someone that used to be genuine. But she got greedy. She got absolutely greedy and forgot why she was put in that position, why she was given those abilities, why she was allowed those different accesses into the universe, into the spirit realm. She started abusing it, looking into places that she had no business looking into. Someone comes over, gives her $10,000. I need you to look into this person. And she accepted Absolutely not. That is not what your gifts are for. I absolutely refuse to look into people's lives without their permission. I do not care who you are, what you've done to me. Hold up. I do care what you've done to me, but it has to be something extreme. Like you, you have to do something extremely extreme for me to violate your privacy. But other than that, I don't care who you are. I'm not just going to go look in your life without you asking me to. People like this, they have no boundaries. Just because you can do something does not mean you should. You, Excuse me. You have to be respectful of people's privacy. People's free will. This is something that's very big in the universe. Free will. Do not interfere with other people's free will. But people like these, like this, like this. Don't get it. Don't get it. They feel entitled. You are entitled to nothing. Absolutely nothing. And people don't understand that. And that's why they are going through this death. Because a rebirth is absolutely necessary for everyone in this story, including you, Collective. It is necessary for you so that you can put all of this toxicity behind you, step into your new life without bringing any of these karmics with you because if spirit would have given you your abundance while you were still connected to these people you would have been protecting them uh, uh sharing with them not knowing you were sharing with the enemy you were in bed with the enemy so yes you may think that it took forever for you to receive this abundance but it is divine timing divine timing 
divine timing. It is absolutely divine timing for good karma to go in your favor. So there's a reason why things have gone the way they have. It's not because source doesn't see. Source absolutely see. But source has been giving these people time to do right. These people didn't even know that everything they have been doing was already in the know. People knew about it. They were being given chances to turn their lives around. These false police reports people have been filing. These lies, false fortune letters and signatures, it's all been known. Someone was waiting to see how far these people were willing to go. How far can you go? How low can you go? And these people have gone as low as they can. They cannot go any lower. Some of these people can't even understand how, how they got to where they are. Is that who they used to be and who they are today are completely two different people in the worst way ever. Two different people. It's like they look at themselves in pictures. I used to be happy. That used to be me. How did I get here? They don't even know how they got there. They started doing one thing, it led to another. They did that one thing, it led to another. They did it, and then before they knew it, they were caught up, trapped in a lifestyle they could not get out of. Vicious cycle. I'm going to leave my reading there. I'll see you in my next read. Thank you for watching. As always, stay blessed and goodbye for now.